Hey friend, you are back with the Aries Alchemist for another general tarot reading. And this one is for my earth signs. So if you're a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, sun, moon, or rising, something in this is for you. So far we have the <clears throat> two of pentacles in reverse, two of swords in reverse, king of swords reverse, two of wands, and three of cups. And I'll clarify those and then we'll get into what they mean. Two of Pentacles in reverse, clarified by the King of Swords. You were running around like a chicken with your head cut off the last few weeks, trying to make something happen. And then somebody was able to just swoop in and take over whatever this decision making was or whatever this project is for you to make things a lot easier on you. I'm hearing that um, acts of service is probably your love language and this person speaks it beautifully. Two of Swords in Reverse, clarified by the Six of Pentacles. This is saying that at first you took this as a, it's kind of too good to be true. And you were wanting to tell them, no, don't help you. But then you kind of entertained the idea that maybe this person was sent to make things easier on you because you're always taking care of everybody else. And so it's time for you to get taken care of. King of Swords in Reverse, clarified by the King of Cups. So for a lot of you, I'm hearing that this is romantic. You're looking at this person like a knight in shining armor, but you're also being realistic and you're noticing the things that you maybe don't like as much about them and you're trying to balance it all. Two of Wands clarified by the Seven of Cups. Your main fear is that they're just going to be hiding a lot of things that you won't be able to pick up on before you feel like it's too late for you, so to speak. But Three of Cups clarified by the Nine of Swords in Reverse. Spirit is telling you to do your best to just think positive and go with the flow because things will absolutely work out in your favor. Even if this relationship doesn't last forever or for years and years like you want it to, it's definitely something that you need right now. Let's grab a word of the week for you. Word of the week for Earth Signs. Caution. This is more so about you throwing caution to the wind, taking realistic, calculated risks. Caution is your word of the week. An affirmation or two that might help you out. Oh, well, one flew out. Let's see if there's another. Yes. I am the creator of things that are good and positive. This is a reminder for you to think as positively as possible because if you're believing that it's why did my voice crack if you're believing it's not going to be a good situation then you're going to make it be self-fulfilling prophecy and it won't be a good situation so believing that everyone sent to you is sent for your greatest good and everything works out in your favor that will make that true so affirm that you are the creator of all things that are good and positive and then you have i'm empowered to write my story on clean pages this is just a reminder that you have free will and you can do whatever you want Everybody can do whatever they want, though. So, you know, there's going to be consequences, but you can do whatever you want. A crystal to carry around that may help this week. And you have Amatrine. Um, Amatrine is actually amethyst and citrine put together. So it's going to carry properties of both of those. It's going to help you with your discernment as well as target your solar plexus and help you with confidence, joy, happiness, passion, things like that. So Amatrine is going to help you tap into all of those and balance them out to make things easier for you. What are some actions you can take to make sure that you're getting into alignment? Seek hidden treasure and bust out of your cocoon. Ooh. So I'm hearing that for a lot of you, you have some type of social or relationship anxiety. So the hidden treasure that they're telling you to seek is like the partnership type qualities within you. And to let those qualities shine forth so that people can see them. 
especially this person that's wanting to come in and take this off your plate and help. Let them see the real you. A message from your guardian angels. You have prosperity lies ahead and the answers you need are coming. Taurus energy and Gemini energy. So if you have heavy Taurus or Gemini placements or this person coming in to help you does, this is definitely your reading. Gemini is air sign, Taurus is also earth sign. Um, but it's saying that things are just looking good for you in the future and anything that you have questions about when it comes to the things that feel too good to be true, you can rest assured that you'll get the answers that you need and the clarity that you need in enough time for you to feel comfortable and enjoy these things. So don't even trip about that. Sorry, my phone keeps sliding down. Something from your ancestors. Don't dim to fit in and soul family. And I feel like I said something about that earlier. Make sure you're not dimming your light to fit in with other people. Just be yourself, friend. Just be yourself, especially when it comes to the person wanting to help you. And soul family is about that too. For a lot of you, this was a romantic thing. It's going to be your next partner that you find. But for many of you, this is also just about friends in general. Just finding your soul family. You will find your tribe as long as you are being yourself. Your ancestors are reminding you of that. Something from your spirit guides. Three cards. Cosmic Emerald, Shower of Blessings, and Open to Abundance. All of these cards are about abundance in different ways. You see lots of green, lots of gold. Things are looking good for you this week. This Open to 